All right, here we have our all original 96 Ford F-250. That's a regular cab XLT long bed. So it's got the full eight foot box. Uh, it's a two owner, no accidents. Uh, it's always been in Oregon State. It still has its original um, Ford dealer's license plate frame up front. This is all the original Oxford white paint job. It said this truck's got 229,000 miles, but it's in incredible condition. It was always garaged. We use no salts in the roads in this part of the Northwest, so it's got no rust, no accidents. I mean, if you look along here, it's just incredible. No paint, no chips or anything. You have just a couple of little ones. So it probably had a bug guard on it at one point. But the, the body is laser straight. There's not a ding on this body. Now you can tell that this thing was well taken care of by, I mean, if you look at the, the lenses, especially the tail lights, they don't have that, you know, oxidized look. They still got a nice shine to them, nice and smooth. I think he just used it to tow his camper trailer or something. Even the inside of the bed is real nice. But I'll get I'll get back here to this part. I want to start at the front so then we don't get lost and confused. But uh, this is the Chuck the Chuck Colvin Mercury Ford Lincoln uh, is where it was purchased brand new. But you can see all the chrome. It still has nice deep reflection. No dents in the bumpers. You know, bumper's not out of alignment. This thing's got a brand new lift kit, uh, wheels and tires, and you can tell this thing, you know, the wishbone suspension, sometimes these things, the camber gets all weird. I mean, you can see the tires are nice and straight. No issues, you can see laser straight there. No chips or dings up on the hood, just really nice shiny paint. Nice panel gaps. The cowl's not dented down. No paint lifting or paint chips. A lot of times this is where it'll start to chip is back here and right here, no issues. No crack in the window. All the trims are nice nice chrome. All the rubbers are in good shape around the wing windows. You have just a little bit of dry checkering on the uh, window sweeps. Again, you can see the nice, nice door gaps. Just got a little bit of entry wear. You know, fender's not all out of alignment. You can still see the rough country decals. And the, you can see how new this stuff is. All emblems are nice. I mean, there's, you just have your little stone chips along right here on the front and the back, and they carry to about right here, and then they fade out a little bit. But you do still have them along the bottom of the doors. You have a little tiny ding chip right there. Nice rubbers on the, on the chrome wheel well. No, barely any chips along there even. You can see all the turn signal lights and the, nice and clear. It's a little bit, the headlights are a little bit foggy, but they could use a good buffing, but these are nice color, nice chrome, no cracks or chips in the grill. Take it back here, you can see the paint in between the bed. I mean, you can find trucks at lower miles, but I guarantee you, you're, it's gonna be really hard to find a nicer truck than this. I mean, it drives tight. There's like, there's absolutely no door sag. I mean, they just shut like new, nice and solid. You do have a little scratch right there, and a little scratch right there. Looks nice and clean behind here. I mean, you can see there's no. So it's got the your you know your bed rail caps, but. You can see there's no side loading issues. Oftentimes people will be loading stuff in. And just, you'll see scratches along here, a lot of scratches along here, but you don't get that. You have a little chip that was touched up. A little scratch right here, and then a chip. I think it had a canopy on at one point, but just a couple of chips, no, no dents or you know, scratches right in this area. A lot of times people will get into stuff and push the bumper in here, no dents. You know, all original paint, you won't find any overspray or resprays or tape marks on this truck. Just a couple of chips there. Nice and clean even behind there. I mean, this thing is just spotless. Tires are like brand new. You see the new shocks. I mean, even along the wheel well, I mean, of course the top's dirty, but, you know, I mean, he even got in there with the wash mitt and washed it. And, you know, no cheap undercoating. Top of the tailgate's really nice. I mean, there's just one, uh, not even a scratch, it was just something. But you're not gonna see any chips or scratches. A little chip that was touched up at one point. A couple of chips there, but no big chips or anything like that. Nice aluminum panel, it's not bowed out. It's on there nice and solid. 
no dents, no cracks in the plastic, it's nice and black. Nice chrome rear bumper, nice trim on it. You know, it's a little bit dyed and you got a couple little marks in the corner. Some, some nice back to black trim would be nice. Tailgate opens real nice. You know, still got both of its steels there. No rust. I got a couple wires for probably, you know, like I was saying, probably canopy or something, or just camper or whatever. But you can see it's just got scratches and stuff on the ribs, but you look at the side of the bed. I mean, it's nice and shiny. It's pretty crazy. There's no dents in the wheel wells. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but you can see there's no dents in the wheel wells. Tailgate shuts nice. One-handed deal. Doesn't get hung up or anything. Yeah, no rust. It's got aftermarket exhaust. It's got Flowmaster muffler. Or flow, and then... Uh, so it's got the single outlet. Again, no scratches along the side there from any loading. I mean, a lot of times you'll just get just hammered, just peppered chips there. We only got one, the one little one there. Then you got a little chipping down there. I'll go nice and slow. You'll often get some chipping here. It's just incredible that this truck looks this nice. I mean, there's no oil leaks. I mean, no door sag, the ice cold AC, everything works on this truck. I mean, I've had trucks with, you know, a quarter of the miles that don't look as nice as this truck. I mean, you know, we usually specialize in clean trucks, but especially low mile ones, but this one really beats a lot of them. You got some chipping here, got some chipping there, got some chips there, but no door dings, no scratches in the door. Just really nice, shiny, smooth paint. The rubbers are looking good. I mean, that just shuts so nice. You have a little chip there. But I mean, I mean, anybody who's a truck guy, especially, uh, you know, you know the care and love that's been done on this truck. Because it's not easy to drive a truck for, you know, nearly 20 years. It's 18 years old, and drive it for these amount of miles and keep it this nice with no scratches along the bedside. You know, not chips all over. I mean, even the door edges. I mean, you look at the door edges. I mean, there's like hardly any wear. It looks like a little adhesive probably had the protectors on there. Nice looking gray interior, fully loaded. No, no door hinges. I mean, I'm pulling up on this thing, and there is just no sag. If you look at the paint in here, even in the hinges, is just phenomenal. Probably had some hoop steps on one time, but those steps are horrible. They always always bust but I mean look at the paint it's just shiny you know no rust in the dog legs and there's just no real entry at wear no stress cracks in the cab dash is in perfect condition no cracks here to complete non-smoker no chips no holes drilled in I mean even with the trailer brake it's just nice to see that they didn't drill holes in the dash they went and got some nice velcro adhesive 3m and it's stuck in there really good Hit it nice and away, nice and tasteful. You got your little compartment. Still got your little coin holder. That stuff's often gone. This thing slides perfectly. Any four guys knows a lot of this part sometimes is missing or it's all busted up. It's got the light gray. This isn't all busted up. Lumbar works. It's got the full carpeted rear. Center console, of course, folds up for a third passenger. You know, no real marks on this seat. It's got the vinyl floor mat, which is gray in color, which is cool to see, because then it, it almost takes you a couple seconds to realize it. Glove box with all original books. You got your original, it's still got its original uh, salesman cards that come with it. So it was bought new at a Ford store, then traded in at a Ford store and then bought for the second time at a Ford store and that's the only owners it's had. So it's cool to see it still has all that stuff with it. Just shuts like a glove. I mean just sounds like a nice high quality suitcase locking up. Take you over here. I mean, even look like look at those door edges. You don't see chips or nothing. You usually get all kinds of scratches around the key. Look how nice that is. Got your original detail, all its tags, C5 axle code, so it's got 410 limited slip. 
Got your color code, Oxford White. That's 460 truck, automatic. Still got its original decals, but look at that shine in there. No grease build up. I mean, look at those door hinges. I mean, there's no wear on these things at all. No bushing damage. You know, door panels aren't pulling away. Like you often see, no cracks, no marks. Nice looking seat. I mean, the entry side, it's just got a little bit of wear, but no holes, no thread pulling out. It's got a little mark in there from probably something he was had in his pocket, wore on it. Nice looking shifter. Look at that, I mean, I mean if somebody were to pull a truck up to me, I'd guess it's got, you know, by the condition of the paint alone, and how the door shut, how it looks underneath the hood, how it looks under the body, I'd guess this thing's probably got under 100,000 miles. I mean, it's a little dirty, but it's kind of what you want to see, you know? No leaks, no pinion seal leaks. Just nice, dry, and clean body. And it's got polished aluminum wheels, worn manual hubs. Look at that light still works. Look at the paint under here. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, but look at the shine on that thing. You can see these have never been adjusted. The factory paint's still on them. Once you get a, a socket on these things, I mean, it chips the paint, and you can never go back, you know. You see it's never been adjusted. Hood's never been adjusted. Nice, clean motor. Water pump's obviously recently been replaced. I mean, just a solid, solid. It's got uh, exhaust manifold gaskets recently been replaced, so it doesn't have that famous 460 exhaust leak. Rough Country Pitman Army. You can still see the package, but look how clean this is. I mean, 229,000 miles. Phenomenal. We'll fire it up here, and then we'll go do a driving video, so hopefully you guys stick around for that. And we did the cold start already, but it's warmed up now. You know, It'll get up to the middle of the gauge once we get cranking. Just quiet, quiet running 460. It shuts nice. You gotta give her a little bit more of a slam, but that's about it. Look at that gap on that thing. It's just killer. You know, no smoking or ticking. So this is going to be our two owner, all original paint and body, 96 Ford F250 with a lift kit, 460 and automatic and XLT package, eight foot bed, it's going at no reserve, so this truck's going to be a killer truck for the money. I mean, it is damn near perfect, so good luck.